summer of 1993, as a young student, I made a film about Belfast. That summer, there was little sign of an historic ceasefire on the horizon. After almost two decades of peace, it's about getting jobs, is it hard to get a job? Very, very hard. Um, we get work around here now. I still live in the same house, and my mum still lives across the road from me. To see how their lives have changed. Brings back memories. We split about a year and a half later. Oh, won't you stay with me? The journey through life takes many twists and turns. Every single one of us have an interesting story to tell, and this just happens to be mine. Right, as well, come here, here. Okay. Right, everybody take hands in a circle. Everybody advance to tire twice, and everybody swing. I want some shoes to set my feet a dancing, 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 dancing all the day. Shoes to set my feet a dancing, dancing, dancing all my cares away. More and more of us here in Northern Ireland are choosing to work at night. Over the course of one single night last year, we followed some of those people who have turned their backs on the normal nine to five. My job for the rest of the night is making sure the staff answer the phones when they ring, otherwise we miss calls, and that doesn't go down well. Hello? That happens too. There's a demand that you're continually trying to meet. There's a target, and the target is keep the lights on. Because it's like we're getting older and we're older and we're like the oldest in the school and all. I think when you first see them born and the problems that they had and what you went through to now and you think, wow. They get more independent and then you think then there's going to get a time when they're not going to need you. And I know that's not going to be for a while, but you want to be there all the time. I'm telling myself every year, oh, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. Love you. I came to, to work in Larne in 2001 as a director in the council to a place that was like taking a step back in time. Small towns around the world are getting boarded up. I won't let that happen here. For goodness sake, we were one of the top 10 places to visit before you die. Come and see us. 